Hi, this is Raman, your tutor from Alberta Real Estate School. In this video, we will look at some of the mistakes I see students make over and over again and what you can do to avoid them. So let's take a look. Let's take a look at five mistakes that students make and what to do about them. Mistake number one, assuming the exam is easy. Now, many of us come into the real estate field or we are wanting to get the real estate uh, license because we are interested in, in real estate. So we may have purchased some properties in the past and we like the field and that's why we want to do the exams and get the license. Now, the problem is as we come into this field, we may think that we have experience, we know what's going on in the market, or we know how to buy and sell properties. And this is why we may have the impression that the exam is easy. That is a mistake. The reason the exam is not easy is because the courses are based on teaching us about the Real Estate Act. Now, when we talk about the Real Estate Act, there are a lot of technical things that we need to understand. It's a law. So we are talking about lawyers speak. So a lot of stuff that we need to learn and understand about the Real Estate Act, and that's what they will test you on the exam. So it's not just a simple process of um, buying properties or what to look for and that type of stuff. There will be technical questions, and that's where we need to pay attention, and we need to make sure we are very clear on our concepts and we know what's going on before we go sit in the exam. Second one is waiting till the last minute to study for the exam. I see this over and over again. So people will come to me when there's two months left uh, to finish their course. Out of the 18 months, they're at the very end, two months, and now they're under pressure to finish this because otherwise you have to start all over again. This makes things very difficult. So I do not recommend you leave stuff till the last minute. I do understand that things come in the way, you know, life happens, we're all busy. But please, as you're going through the course from the very beginning, I highly recommend that you create a study plan and have a study schedule and follow that. So all you have to do is just set aside a few hours each week in order to study because it becomes very difficult if you leave it till the very last minute. So the answer here is to make sure you have a study plan, even if you're devoting small amounts of time to it, it's best to keep doing it over the course of time instead of leaving it till the very end. Mistake number three, taking too long to go through the course. This is another one that I see very often. What happens is we start the course, we focus, we study really hard for unit one or unit two. By the time we get to unit three or four, the excitement wears off, other things come up, life gets busy, and we forget about it. And we do have the intention of studying, but we just can't get around to it. And that becomes a problem because it takes a long time to take go through the course then. And by the time you get to unit 10, you have forgotten what was in unit one and two. So what I recommend is, first of all, as you are going through the program, don't focus on preparing for the exam. All you want to do at this point is understand the concepts so that you are clear on the concepts, but you're not trying to memorize anything or you're not trying to actually remember stuff. Leave that till the end. So separate the going through the course from actually preparing for the exam. So those two activities need to be completely different. What I would recommend is first, just go through the course, do your online stuff, and then once everything is done, then go back and prepare for the exam. So then you would go and review the stuff, and this is when you need to pay attention to important things that you need for the exam. But please don't try to prepare for the exam and go through the course at the same time. It becomes really difficult, and it takes a long time, and then other things come up, and you forget everything that you have studied. So so just do it one piece at a time and you will get through it. Mistake number four, memorizing questions and answers from the quizzes. Uh, again, a very common one that I hear all the time. Uh, people will come to me and say, oh, I failed the exam, but I went through the quizzes and I went through the assignment over and over again. I, I have them memorized. I can tell you exactly what was on the quiz. Now, see, the problem with this approach is that the exam is actually very different from what you have in quizzes and activities. The way they will ask you questions on the exams 
on the exam will be different. So you cannot memorize stuff because what happens is, uh, first of all, two problems with this. One, it's not the same questions that you will get on the exam. Second is your brain starts to recognize the patterns. So what happens is we don't even read the question carefully because our brain sees the pattern, sees the question and thinks we know what the question is. But when they ask the question on the exam, they will change it. They will reword it or they will ask you a different thing in the question. But because you may have memorized the question, you will automatically go for the wrong answer. And this is what they're trying to do to you. So please do not fall for this. You do not want to memorize anything. Um, if you want to memorize something, um, I will do actually another video on what you should memorize. But the keyword here is terminology. You can memorize the terminology, but that's it. Please do understand the concept. And that's how you'll be able to answer questions on the exam, because the questions on the exam will be different than what you see on the quizzes. So it's pointless to memorize the questions. But if you understand the concept, you can answer any question on that topic. And that's what you want to go for. Mistake number five, focusing on the wrong topics. This is another big mistake that I see uh, people make. For example, I see a lot of people trying to memorize dates. Those dates are not important for the exam. So you want to understand what is important for the exam and only prepare those topics. You do need to know stuff. Uh, you need to understand what they're trying to teach you in the course. But when you go to write the exam, there are certain things that are more important for the exam um, versus everything. So a lot of times I see people are focusing on the wrong topics and that really then comes to bite you uh, when you go write the exam. Uh, one way to get around that would be to look at your marks distribution. So you can go to your online and at the very beginning of the course, one one thing you will see would be exam weighting and that's what you want to see how much weight is being allocated to each unit so if unit two for example is a big one in fundamentals so make sure you focus more on unit two versus unit unit one which is only worth about two percent of the mark um, unit two on the other hand is worth 20 percent or so so you want to focus more on unit two versus unit one. Um, this is how you can basically divide your time when you're preparing for the exam. So make sure you're focusing on the right topics and the right units based on the marks distribution. All right, so let's recap. Some of the mistakes that I have seen students make, one, assuming the exam is easy. And to get around this one, I would say, please don't take this lightly. It is a technical exam. They will ask you a lot of questions about the Real Estate Act. So make sure you do study the course material before you go write the exam. Mistake number two is waiting till the last minute to study for the exam. And here the tactic is to make sure you set up a study plan and a schedule for yourself and follow that. It's better to spend a few hours every week as opposed to having to take time off at the end and trying to cram everything. Your brain will just not work with you at that point. So better do it slowly over time. Mistake number three is taking too long to go through the course. Again, I would say instead of focusing too much on the front end and trying to do exam preparation at the same time that you're actually going through the online course, I would suggest you split those two. First, go through the course and then do your exam preparation so that you're not spending too much time on each unit. And um, then by the time you get to unit 10, you've forgotten what's in unit one or two. So just set that up properly. Mistake number four, memorizing questions and answers. The solution here is to make sure you're understanding the concepts so that when they ask you a question on the topic, doesn't matter how they ask you the question, you're able to answer it so that you're not having to depend on your memory to come up with the answer, but you understand the topic. And so logically, you'll be able to work out the answer. And the last one is focusing on the wrong topic. So again, uh, please do look at the mark distribution and see where the marks are coming from. Unit two in fundamentals, for example, a big unit, lots of 
questions on it on the exam. Uh, so make sure you're focusing on the right units and focusing on the right topics. On this one here, we do have summary notes that we provide for you. Uh, so if you wanted to take advantage of that, you can. The summary notes are based on just the important topics that um, will be on the exam that they will ask questions on. And doesn't matter over the last few years, it uh, doesn't matter what exam it is, the questions will be from certain topics that are always on the exam just because they're important topics. So over time, we have learned that and that's what the notes are focused on, just the important stuff. So that's one option if you do need some help. So that's it for today. If you need some extra help in preparing for your uh, Alberta real estate exam, whether those are mortgage or real estate, uh, please uh, give us a call at 587-936-7779 and we may be able to help you or you can go visit our website at www.albertarealestateschool.com. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like a recap of today's video in a PDF format, make sure you click on the link below and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.